Hello and welcome back to ICS 100. So today we're going to be continuing looking at networks and different technologies that we use within networks. But more specifically, you know, we're going to look at different topologies that we have that are available to us. And you know, even though we're going to be looking at different topologies, we don't really use all of these topologies anymore. But you know, they're good to know and understand because of um, you know, it's always a great idea to understand you know history and where things now things progressed. So let's go and look at, um, you know, kind of define what a topology is, and then we'll look at different layouts and everything as well. So let's jump into the slides and see. So network topologies, um, you know, this is really what we're saying is the arrangement of the physical network. So we're kind of looking at how everything is connected and cabled between each other. So if you remember, we kind of talked about, you know, cabling and everything recently. Um, this is kind of looking at how everything gets tied together and, you know, is able to communicate. And as I kind of mentioned, there are several variations that do exist. Not all of them are used um, as frequently as others. So, you know, keep that in mind when we're going through these, that, you know, there are different variations that we have, um, you know, for this because uh, it's important to understand how our networking technologies and how the topologies look and everything. And you actually like it because the the names of the topologies, you'll see why we named them that because they're very, very similar to um, the way they appear to us. So let's go and look at our first one that we have. Um, so the first one that we have is actually um, a bus network. And basically the way this is, um, you know, all devices are connected to a common cable. So this topology looks like you can see here where each of the uh, our devices are the blue dots. And you can see that the green line is the common cable that each device is being connected to. So, you know, this is a an older style network that, um, you know, we had available to us. And, you know, it was common, um, you know, it's our bus network and we have that common bus that each device needs to connect to. And as well, we have another one um, that we're, you know, as well that's um, called the ring topology. And so the ring network, um, the ring topology, basically each device is connected to its neighbors. So you can see in this, again, the blue dots our nodes are our devices, and you can see that each device is connected to both of its neighbors. And unlike the bus where, you know, this doesn't really um, had a beginning and an ending, the ring topology, the ring network, you know, it doesn't really have it. So, um, you know, you don't know where it starts and you don't know where it ends. So that's why we like to call it the ring network because it's, you know, you can't see where it starts, where it ends. Uh, you know, so keep that in mind that our bus, you know, does have a, like a beginning and an ending to it. And our ring network, it's just, it's a ring. It's a complete circle. You can't tell where it starts, where it ends. And each device is connected to its neighbors within a ring, where in uh, a bus network, they're connected to a single bus, and that's what they use to communicate as well. So now let's jump back into the slides and look at a different type of topology that is actually frequently used um, in today's networks as well. So this topology, we actually call this a star topology or the star network. And basically each device is directly connected to a switch. Um, so here you can see, again, our nodes are the blue dots and our center um, dot is actually, um, you know, is the switch. So you can see why we call it a star because it kind of looks like, it does look like a star and we have a, a center point of our network as well. And usually that's like your switches as well. And then we everything branches off of that. So the switch becomes the focal point in your network. And everything kind of connects through that and communicates through that. So that's seeing all the data that's being transmitted through your network. And it's kind of sending and receiving everything at the same time. So our star networks, you know, we do use them today. Um, you know, they're used within our switching technology as well. So let's jump in and look at another type of network as well. Um, and, you know, this is actually our tree network. And, you know, what you can think about this is, you know, it's a hierarchical structure that we have. And again, you know, you can see this within networks where we do have this, this structure available. And you can see, um, you know, why we call it the tree. So you have it branching off and everything is, you know, interconnected that way as well. So keep that in mind that, you know, 
it looks like a tree. That's why we call it the tree network. And everything kind of branches off of each other and you have these different um, levels as well. So it's a hierarchical network to structure that we have. So keep that in mind. Um, you know, you do see this within networks as well nowadays. So let's go and look at another topology as well. Um, you know, and this is, a, this is a pretty interesting one, so let's jump in and look at these within the slides. So this is our fully connected network, and you might think of this as a little overwhelming, but all devices are interconnected. So that means that, you know, every device is connected to every other device. So you can see this topology here, you know, it kind of looks like a ring, um, but then everything gets interconnected. So, you know, you can spend time and verify, um, you know, that everything is connected to one another. So that takes a lot of cabling. And just imagine if you added in one more device, how much more cabling that's going to require. So, you know, this is a complex network structure because it does require a lot of cabling and a lot of setting up as well. So another one um, that we have available to us is, you know, a mesh network. And basically, you know, this doesn't really follow any specific physical layout. Um, you know, basically this just says that all devices must have multiple paths. So you can see in here that, you know, all the devices on the left side have multiple paths that they can send and receive data. Um, so that's why we call it a mesh because, you know, you have multiple ways of sending and receiving data as well. So keep that in mind. That's why we, you know, we call it a mesh because it isn't just one way that it can send data. Because if one of those lines went down, um, you know, you would kind of lose all network connectivity. So having these multiple paths, having this mesh idea provides us with alternate data paths that we can use and send in case one of, um, you know, those lines go down. So that's why we like the mesh because it does provide us with um, a little bit of redundancy within our network. And then finally, let's look at our last topology as well. So our last topology is um, called the line network. And basically, every host is connected to its neighbor. So the line network, you're probably thinking, oh, this is just a straight line. Well, you're right. It's just a straight line where every device is connected to its neighbor. Um, so kind of, you know, with this one, if one line goes down, you know, you're kind of going to lose all connectivity from that point forward. So, you know, it's not, um, doesn't have a lot of redundancy because if one link goes down, everything goes down um, beyond that link. So keep that in mind um, as well. So, you know, we've gone through, we've seen these images, we kind of looked and explained them briefly, but, um, you know, I wanted to have one last slide that kind of brings together all the types of topologies so you can see them all in one image and, you know, one slide so you can look and, you know, see the differences between them. So let's bring that slide up so you can see this final comparison between all of the topologies as well. So we're going to look at the, um, you know, all of them together. So this is our um, all-in-one slide so you can compare and contrast them and have them all nicely in one image. So you can see here we have our ring, you know, to start with, which is our nice um, ring topology, no start, no end our mesh where, you know, everything has multiple data paths. And as well, we have our star, so we have like one focal point of our network. And then our fully connected where everything is connected to each other. And then we have our line, which, um, you know, has no redundancy. Then, you know, our tree, which is a hierarchical structure. Um, and then finally, we have our bus where everyone is connected to a single bus and they use that bus to communicate. So, you know, hopefully that all in one kind of works for you. You kind of can see in compare and contrast them together and look at them. So, you know, we've looked at several different topologies. Um, hopefully you understand how the different topologies work and how they look and why we named them so. Um, so thanks, and, you know, we'll see you next time.